called Collegiate Shag in the month of March, and this is the first week. So we started out uh, with an exercise working on our different footwork, and we'll show you that later when we show the exact uh, footwork variations that we taught. Uh, but first we started out with posture, and that started first with, unlike Lindy where we have this V connection where the body's making a V, we started with this parallel position um, where our chest are connected and we're slightly offset so we can both have our feet underneath each other. Uh, so from there, uh, we worked on where the connection point is. So we used the forearm uh, against the follower side here, and we, did, we didn't use this back so we don't have a straight back. We're just right underneath ourselves, um, connected at the side, and our hands are relaxed. Uh, for our arms, uh, we, this is the traditional shag pose. Uh, we use it to go to the, uh, the person who's uh, the shorter person and, and keep it comfortable in line with their shoulder. Okay. This is too high, this is just right. Yes. And each party is responsible for keeping their own arm up. Yes, so we get that, we thought about rolling our shoulders back and keeping, uh, keeping it nice and relaxed. Uh, so this is where we started from our basic, and we started with uh, all slows. So we worked on slow, 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 and moved it forward. Slow, 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 stretch, slow, 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 slow. Then turn in the circle, slow, slow, stretch, slow, stretch it, slow, stretch it, slow, stretch. Uh, the next thing we did was an exercise of quick quicks, where we did all quick quicks, and that looked like this. Quick, 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 quick. I'm keeping this nice and shuffly, keeping real relaxed. So we're not keeping upper body tension. This is what it feels like to be at tension. Here we kept it nice and relaxed. Likewise, you moved it around. Quick, 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 quick stretch and quick, 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 quick press and down and turn. The next thing we did was to combine slows and quicks into the regular six count shag basic, which is comprised of two slows and quick quick. That uh, looked like this. Slow, slow, quick quick, slow, slow, quick quick, slow, quick quick, slow, slow, quick quick. We moved it forward and back. Slow, slow, quick quick, slow, slow, quick quick, slow, slow, quick quick. And in the third pull. So that was the basic double rhythm um, movement. And then we took that once we, uh, worked, on, we worked on that. Then we opened it up. And we took it from slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, open up. And so there we used the slow, the second slow to compress, slow, compress, and then open it up on the quick, quick. Um, you can stay on an open position as long as you like, doing your regular six count timing. And when you want to come back in, you use that same second slow to slow. get the tension. Stretch, quick, quick, in. And then quick, quick to come in. Slow, stretch, quick, come in. And we raise our arms up. We thought about when we're out in the open, having this lindy pistol grip position rather than uh, keeping this bottom hold. Just to be more comfortable. And also we worked on moving this open position in a circle by matching and keeping as if there's a string connected between our uh, chest, so we keep parallel to one another. So at the end of the class, we gave you uh, specific footwork variations that were of high and low energy for both open and closed positions. In open position, we did uh, the high energy footwork that had taps and heel and heels. Step, tap, step, heel, heel. bit more higher energy with double packs and double kicks. Double tap, double tap, double kick, double tap, double tap, double kick, double tap, double kick. And then we worked on just uh, a lower energy one, simple variation. So with all uh, kicks forward, one, two, four, five, six, one, two, four, five, six. We thought about keeping the kicks low to the ground, and also we gather on the odds and kick on the evens. One, two, four, six. Yes, uh, and so then we also had a high energy and a low energy closed position. For the lower energy, we 
did a little half moon, so this looked like slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow. We mentioned that for this movement, we wanted to use the movement across, that's what helps make the the moons look a uh, little nicer as we're moving. We move, we move, we have this motion while we're turning of the half moons. Yeah. And then finally, for the high energy in closed position, uh, we used uh, heel raises on the quick, quick with taps for the slows, and that looked like this. Step, tap, step, tap, heel, heel, step. Give you a good introductory framework to the dance.